Alright, I got a quick video for you. If you're sick of these fuckers right here scrambling around in your garage tearing shit up, then uh, I've got a quick and dirty solution in order to make a trap to get rid of them. All you need is a two liter bottle or a two quart thing of pineapple juice and beer, not this one. I'm drinking that one. This one, because it came from the store like that. There's like half a beer in that and uh, I'm not drinking that shit. So uh, either that got half filled or it half leaked out. Either way, I don't want botulism. So I'm gonna show you a quick solution, how to turn this guy and this guy into a pile of dead roaches. All right, first step is peel the label off of your two liter bottle because you have OCD and it bothers you. Also, it doesn't, it doesn't let you know how many dead roaches are in there. And uh, I also lied, you're gonna need some masking tape or uh, you can just use some sandpaper if otherwise. But anyway, we'll get to that. So take your two liter bottle and uh, with this weird one, uh, I'm going to cut right here on this seam all the way around uh, just with my pocket knife. Actually, I'm going to grab a utility knife real quick, or a razor blade, make it a little bit easier. If you've just got a regular two liter bottle, um, when it comes down and it goes to the swoop, just past the swoop, usually about where the label starts, as soon as it starts to level out again, cut it right there. Leave about maybe about half an inch. But anywho, just slice this guy in half, and uh, let's fade to future Tom. All right, now that that's cut in half, just take your top, jam it in the bottom, and give it a good oomph. Just make sure it's not coming out. And uh, ooh, that's a little tight. I'm going to have to trim mine up a little bit more. But uh, if you've got a two-liter bottle, it'll work perfectly. But uh, I'm a little close for comfort. All right, well, that's not going to work uh, because we're basically kissing the bottom. So uh, let me go grab a two-liter bottle real quick, just standard soda bottle. All right, well, it's many moons later, and I now have a Diet Sun Drop bottle because it took me that long to drink it all. But anywho, now we're here. All right, so I have marked, it's hard to make out, but there is, in fact, a seam right there, kind of right here. You can see it. There is a seam. I just marked about a half inch below that. And before I cut into this, I'm actually going to take some 80 grit sandpaper. I'm just going to scuff up the bottom part. Don't scuff up, the, well, actually, scuff up up to that seam but don't scuff up the inside of this. And it's also easier when you have the cap on and you ain't popped it yet to just uh, sandpaper this whole outside. So I'm just gonna do that. Just basically go from the start of this curve all the way down to the bottom. And uh, that'll just save us some time here in the future. So I'm gonna do that real quick. All right, well, uh, it's pretty scuff looking and it's cut in half now. So in order to build your beer powered roach trap, just simply Take the top, invert it, stick it in there, give it a little push, and uh, because you sandpapered this top lip, it will hold itself in there, and uh, you have a funnel trap. And what the, the sanding did is it scuffed up the surface that the little cockroach feet have something to climb onto, and to enhance that further, as well as to allow them to get up that bottom, what you do is you take some masking tape and just basically run a couple wraps down here to make a little skirt, kick it out at the bottom so they have some grip, and then just like on either side, just put a little run of tape up like that on either side. I'm gonna do that real quick and show you. All right, there you go. So that's what I was talking about. You know, not absolutely critical, but it helps their little roach feet grip. So, you know, might as well. Uh, but if you don't have masking tape, don't really worry about it. It'll work just fine either way. And uh, that's the finished trap. Just Take it someplace where you have a roach issue. I'm going to stick it probably right over here on this corner. Right there. Works best if you can put it up against a wall um, because they'll climb up the wall. And I'm going to take this, like, I wonder if this is flat or not. This half empty factory can of beer. Uh, one flat, but I am definitely not drinking that. Oh boy. And uh, yeah, just pour your beer down in there. You want to make sure that, yep, half a can of beer is about perfect, it looks like, for a two liter. Yep, just like that. Three quarters of a can would work too, apparently. You just want to have like about an inch to two inches air gap between the mouth of the bottle and the actual surface of the beer. And yeah, I'm just gonna tuck that right there. And if you have a little bit of beer left, just Throw it on the floor right there. They'll smell that, they'll get right up in there. Roaches love nothing more than fermented grains. And uh, come back, check it in about 
Mm -hmm. Don't let it sit for more than like a week, but you know, 48 to you know 48 hour, or 48 to 72 hours, is probably about perfect. And uh, see if you got any dead roaches. All righty. Well, it's been two days and we don't have any roaches so it looks like i must have run all the roaches out when i pulled out all of this lumber stacked it outside and cleaned out the garage it was chock full of them uh back then so uh i think i have actually run them all out of the garage so i'm actually going to put this on the back porch for a couple days and see if i catch some more because uh, i know they're getting out on there and getting in my um recycling bin so let's move this guy somewhere else oh come on he's right there get him You're a worthless toad. Come on. Don't no, don't fight the toad in the mirror. Eat the cockroach. He's right there. He's underneath you, buddy. Get him. Come on, what do I pay you for? Freaking freeloaders. Anywho, I tried bribing the toads because the roach trap isn't working for whatever reason. Uh worked great at my old house. But um I've wasted too much beer now. It just like turns to foam and they don't use it. I think the roaches just come in here for like weird reasons because I only see them in here like at weird times. Um, weird climatic conditions they come in here for whatever reason. Um, but anywho, uh, I promise this thing works. You're going to have to take my word for it. Um, uh, the toads don't work. They're, they're, you know. I give you free rent and you can't even eat one cockroach. You're just over there staring at yourself in the damn wall again. Hey, look at that. A spadefoot toad. That's a much more interesting toad. Anyway, it looks like it is working. I just couldn't see anything from the smuts. I just don't have enough cockroaches here to really warrant wasting beer. So, uh, yeah, it does work. It's just you have to have a lot more cockroaches than I do. So, anywho, dump it in the compost heap. Ah, fungus loves it. Anyway, um, if you like this kind of stuff, consider giving the video a like, uh, comment. Uh, tell me what other kind of bait works well. I'm, I have an old rotten thing of, like, generic Chinese honey that I need to get rid of and I think I might try that that probably would be better for flies probably not so much um, uh, cockroaches vinegar works great for flies too um, anyway if you want to see more garbage like this um, go down there smash the big red button and subscribe until next time Tom out look at that toad